Hello everybody and welcome to Pignit. If you're not familiar with my channel, nice to meet you, my name is Jesse. Every week I upload videos consisting of speed drawings, art vlogs, and a sprinkling of tutorials, so if you're interested, or if you just want a fellow art buddy, subscribe today to stay in the loop. This week's art video is something I've never tried before, and I can probably say with confidence that I will never be trying this again. Oh, side note, I'm in the new office, so if it sounds echoey, it's still because the office is quite empty right now, so it'll improve over time. As many of you may recall, I had a very special friend visiting this past week. Melissa is one of the only friends from college that Justin and I still stay in touch with. She was a fellow art major, and she currently works as a jeweler in Philadelphia. One of the nice things about when Melissa visits is that she's like a super easy guest to entertain and we usually get a lot done when she's here because she likes to use our visits as a way for her to focus on her own art. So we do art stuff together. Which honestly, aside from Justin, I really don't have a lot of art friends in this area, like maybe a few. I don't really have anybody that I can, can like powwow about art with, you know? While Melissa was here, she made herself at home on Justin's side of our office desk, and for much of the weekend, that half of the room was filled with bits of paper in a splendor of colors, patterns, and glitter. This is because Melissa does paper cutout art, and she sells it at shows and on Etsy. Her Etsy shop is Kenny Cutouts, I'm gonna link it in the description if you want to check it out. She does some really cool stuff. So, for some reason, I decided to take a stab at making a cutout myself because it's kind of hard not to when there's like so many fantastic types of paper that I can choose from. And I kept telling her, girl, you need to put a pineapple in your shop because pineapples are in right now. And then I was like, oh, I'm going to make my own pineapple for my office. The problem was I didn't really think about this before I did it. Or, or maybe I thought too much about it. So for starters, I spent probably too much time sketching a pineapple because I realized pineapples are really hard to draw. <laughs> Have you ever tried to draw a pineapple? Uh, good luck. Once I finally had a pineapple that I liked, I went over the lines with black micron pen because I didn't feel confident enough to just sketch straight onto the nice paper. Melissa doesn't bother with any of this. She somehow was able to just go straight to the nice paper and I can't, I can't do that. So this isn't shown on camera, but I actually used my light box several times to trace onto the papers because I just didn't feel confident. I just didn't. And even after I did that, I, like I still made a ton of mistakes. So doing this paper cutout, the reason why I found it frustrating was because it kind of reminded me of carving a pumpkin. I have trouble with pumpkin carving because I overthink things and I'm a bit too much of a perfectionist. So if I'm at like a pumpkin carving get together, everyone's all finished and they're like admiring their carvings from across the room with their little candles. And I'm over in the corner filing each little cut because I can't stand that little sliver of pumpkin guts that might be jutting into my design. And this paper cutout was sort of like carving pumpkins in the sense that it made my brain do somersaults, like thinking about negative space and having to be careful not to cut the wrong shape. You know, like the darker part of the pineapple leaf is like, you don't cut that part, you leave that and you cut the layer on top of, oh my God, I found it so frustrating. So before I did anything, I colored in each block of my sketch to like make sure I was like, and this is the dark one, and this is the medium. And even then I still would just stare and be so confused at it. I had so many moments of just sitting and staring at the pineapple and wondering which layer goes on top of what and whether or not I had the layer flipped over the wrong way and like letting out a long sigh. I feel like you can probably feel my frustration through this video because I had to just keep going back and forth between making tiny cuts, relayering, untaping, retaping, realizing something's wrong, making tiny cuts, relayering, untaping. In the end, this quick little pineapple project turned into like a three to four hour fiasco and I left the room feeling 100% drained of creativity, but I finally framed it and I can call it done, and you know what? 
I'm actually pretty happy with how it turned out. And since I still have the sketch of the pineapple, I'm thinking of making a watercolor pineapple. What do you guys think of that idea, huh? Hmm? Huh? I think I'm gonna do it. I think it's gonna be a future video, so keep an eye out for that. Unless I completely screw it up, then you probably won't see it. So I definitely think I can say I can cross cutouts off of my list of potential avenues of art. I don't think that I'll be venturing into that field. I actually think I did it in a really weird way too because Melissa kept coming up to me and being like, what are you doing? And I'm like, what do you mean? What am I doing? So I think the way that I did this was really like, I don't know, backwards or something, stupid. I probably did this in a way that's really aggravating for no reason, but that's just how I roll. But thanks so much for watching. If you guys like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I feel like I haven't heard from a lot of you in a long time, so leave me a comment below letting me know how are you doing? Did you have a good week? What are you doing this weekend? Are you bummed that summer is on its way out or are you pumped for fall things? Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next week.